In today's video, we're talking all about headlines. A headline is the title of a news story that catches the reader's attention even before the lead does. Let's pause for a second. If you haven't watched that video on lead writing yet, I want you to stop here right now and go to that video and then come back. Okay, back to headlines. Let's talk about what the headline's main purposes are. The purposes of a headline are, it attracts the reader's attention, it reflects the content of the story and sets the tone for the readers. It may summarize the article, almost like an even shorter version of a summary lead. It may intrigue the reader, and it may also serve as an important graphic design element. This is especially important in your book. Here are some examples of good headlines that showcase these purposes. From the BBC, we have Manhunt as One Killed and Seven Hurt in Stabbings. From ABC News, we have Ohio Governor DeWine and Representative Demings call for protesters to remain peaceful. Another article from the BBC, Why We No Longer Need Superheroes. Another article from ABC News, Typhoon Unleashes Rain, Strong Winds in Southern Japan. An article from NPR, But Do I Love You? Tips for Homebound Declutterers. And then a story from The Verge. Super Mario Brothers 35 turns classic Mario gameplay into a 35 person battle royale. Keep in mind that while these are pretty good examples of headlines, they're still not perfect examples. And you'll see this when we look at our do's and don'ts list of headline writing. Here are the do's of headline writing. Do read the article, especially the opening paragraphs, to understand the purpose and main idea. Do give the most general overall focus or summary of the story. Do limit the number of words. Six to 10 words is generally a headline. You can always add a subheadline if you need to. Do use strong active verbs. Do use present tense verbs to show past action. So even if the events in the story have already happened in the headline, write them as if they are happening now. Do express a complete thought. Headlines usually read like simple sentences without words like a, and, and the. Do use numerals such as one, two, and three rather than spelling out numbers. Do substitute a comma for the word and. And do use a semicolon or a colon to separate different thoughts. Now, here are some of the don'ts. Don't add opinion into the headline unless it's an opinion article. Don't use acronyms or abbreviations that readers won't recognize. Don't put information in a headline that isn't in the story. And don't copy the exact wording in the lead for the headline. Okay, so I'll admit that's kind of a long list of do's and don'ts. So I put together this checklist for you to use so that you can follow these when you are writing your headlines. Let's take a look at this checklist. The headline reflects information stated in the story. The headline is short, between six to 10 words. If it's longer, consider making a subheadline. The headline forms a complete thought. The headline is written in present tense. Articles such as a, an, and the have been taken out. Numerals are used rather than spelling it out. Commas are used rather than the word and. Two separate thoughts in the same headline are separated by a semicolon or colon, and only easily recognized abbreviations are used. So use that checklist whenever you're writing a headline and you'll be golden. Here's another hot tip. When in doubt, you can just make your headline a shorter version of what your lead is saying. And that's all I have for this video, so I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.